Episode 1 of The Idol was released today, and the show is already a mess. I will say, the show wasn't as bad as I expected it to be due to all the negative reviews it got initially. Like the show wasn't that great, but some of these critics writing these reviews were over-exaggerating everything. But let me not say too much because this is just the first episode, everything could get a lot worse. Before I watched the show, I did a little deep diving, and apparently, the idol was originally supposed to be about how toxic the music industry is and how it exploits female artists. The original director of the show was Amy Simetz, but while filming, the weekend felt like the show was heading too much into the female perspective and didn't include him enough in it. So he kicked her off the show and brought in the devil himself, Sam Levinson. I feel like a lot of people are blinded by the success of Euphoria and really think that Sam is a good director when he's really not. In fact I would argue and say the reason why Euphoria was so successful is not because of him and his perverted mind, but really because of how he markets his shows, Sam makes sure to include well-known celebrities into his shows, which contributes a lot to the show's popularity. In Euphoria he casted Zendaya, one of the most famous actresses, to play the main, lead role, then he had Drake, the most famous rapper, to help direct the show, with the both of them on the show. They helped promote it and bring a wider audience to the show, without them, Euphoria would have not gained so much attention off the back. Now he's doing the same thing with the idol, he's taking it up a notch, by featuring a plethora of well-known celebrities on his show, along with a significant budget that allows him to produce visually stunning content, thanks to the generous budget he receives from HBO, his shows consistently captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression. This is one of the main reasons why Euphoria was such a phenomenal success. Anyways, once Sam came into the picture, he scrapped Amy Simet's initial approach on the idol, making it less about a troubled starlet, falling victim to a predatory industry and fighting to reclaim her own agency, and more of a degrading love story filled with unnecessary amounts of nudity and sex. In the beginning of episode 1, Jocelyn is being photographed for her upcoming album cover, I will say. When I initially heard that Lily Depp Rose was going to be playing Jocelyn, I busted out laughing, because she cannot act to save her life, with the combination of Lily's terrible acting, The weekend's weird ass, and the pervert himself, Sam, as the director, I really thought this show was going to be a hot mess, but to my surprise, it really wasn't, Lily's acting was not bad, like she, kinda gagged me within the first few minutes of the show, I'm glad she took some acting lessons and is finally trying to beat her talentless, useless, napo baby allegations. While she was being photographed, an inappropriate picture of her gets leaked online, and her manager and her whole team starts freaking out about it, while they are freaking out about it. Jocelyn decides to add more nudity to her photo shoot, but her intimacy coordinator tells her she can't do that. He starts to cause concern during the photo shoot, which leads to Jocelyn's manager locking him up in a bathroom. This scene is so funny to me, because her manager is the same person freaking out about an explicit photo of her being leaked online, but is the same person encouraging her to take nude photos of herself. The hypocrisy is quite funny, and I think the only reason they are encouraging her is because they are making money off of her doing it. While they are arguing about the picture being leaked online, I couldn't help but to cringe at the dialogue and script writing of this show like it was just plain awful. I just know Sam was heavily involved with writing these horrid dialogues, because only him could come up with something like this. While her team is trying to do damage control, Jocelyn goes outside to begin her dance practice, and this is when we are introduced to Daphne, and also get to hear Jocelyn's terrible lead single, during the dance practice. Jocelyn is struggling to execute the choreography, and the choreographer gets frustrated and tells Jocelyn to sit her ass down, and watch Daphne execute the choreography. Now, when it was announced that Jenny was going to be on the show I was kind of shocked because I would never expect her to be in a show like this, but because she was so heavily talked about regarding the show and the way she promoted it, I thought she would be one of the main characters and have more lines, but boy was I wrong, she was just a little side character. She did more dancing in the show than talking, it seems like, Sam was just trying to get her on the show and use her for views and ratings, and she was dumb enough to fall for it. This made a lot of sense on why in an interview she basically said that she didn't take any acting classes or have any special preparation for the show, and that Sam just told her to be herself on camera, like he only told her that, because he knew he was gonna have her as little on the show as possible. Like the way she helped promote the show and was doing interviews about it, you would think she was playing a major role, but they just made her a side piece and gave her like four lines, that's kind of embarrassing, I wouldn't even consider this her acting debut. Maybe as the show goes on, she will play a more significant role because I heard a spoiler that Daphne is supposed to be Jocelyn's fake friend, 
and throughout the show she tries to sabotage Jocelyn's career and take over. But that's just what I heard, so take what I just said with a grain of salt. But, I hope that's the case, for her sake, because if she just, attached herself to a show this controversial and problematic, all just for four lines and to be a silly little backup dancer, then she is dumber than I thought. Anyways, I was not expecting her little choreography scene to be so raunchy, like there was a lot of humping and grinding going on, but she ate. She put more effort and energy into that little choreography than some of her actual performances. While Daphne was performing, Jocelyn starts crying, but nobody notices. I find this scene really interesting because while she was crying, her team was discussing her mental health and trying to figure out if she was okay. But because they were all too busy discussing her mental state instead of just asking her how she was feeling, nobody notices that she was actually crying. After the dance practice, they finally let Jocelyn know that her picture got leaked and that it's all over the internet. And you know what she does after they tell her that? She goes to the club. Because that's what anybody would do after a picture of them with nut on their face gets leaked online? This show is so unserious. It's really a joke. There's so many parts of this show that really show you that this was written and directed by a man. She goes to the club, and there she meets Ted Rose, the weekend's weird ass. She tries to hook up with him in the restroom, but that doesn't work out so she invites him over to her house. But before she invites him over, she tells her assistant slash friend that she likes him, her assistant tells her. She thinks he's weird and gives her rapey vibes, and she responds by saying that she likes that about him. The dialogue and script of this show is so bad, like when you think it can't get any worse, it just gets much more worse. Anyways, Ted Rose comes over. She starts talking about how much she hates her new song and how she thinks it's terrible, but everybody keeps lying to her and keeps telling her that it's not which she is correct everybody is lying to her because that song is awful. She then plays him a snippet of her terrible song, he says he likes it but is not convinced that she is an actual freak. Like she says in the song, he then proceeds to kind of suffocate her and there's like some weird knife play happening, then the show ends. After watching the first episode of the show, I felt no connection towards Jocelyn, I knew very little about her character. Like I know this is the first episode, but considering the fact this season probably only has like 8 episodes. I would think they would try to give us some backstory or give her character some depth. But all I've gotten from this episode about Jocelyn is that she loves smoking cigarettes. Her titties are always out. She has mental breakdowns. And something bad happened to her mom. That's it. Instead of giving her character more of a backstory, all this episode focused on was just S.E.X. The character work was just so flat and hollow. I hope the rest of the episodes are a lot better and have a lot more character depth. And this whole season isn't just filled with a bunch of unnecessary sex scenes and nudity. Anyways, that's all I have to say for now, if you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching.